So today I was thinking about what we were going to do today and how we were going to achieve it because you all know that we do have a goal in mind and while I was flying around the map trying to figure out how we were going to achieve this goal, I ran into something that just sparked an idea in my head and kind of all of the ideas just kind of aligned and made sense. So do you guys have any, well let's be perfectly honest, the title and the thumbnail probably give it away, but check out what I found. Uh, uh oh. Um. Okay, check out what I've lost. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. Uh, there it is. I see it. Okay. Check it out, you guys. I have found a little sheepy. Do you guys have any idea what this means? Do you guys have any idea what the implication of this find is? No? Well, I'll explain it to you. It is pretty common knowledge that an Obis is good for pretty much every carnivore team in the game. Essentially, every meat eater in the game wants mutton chops, which means with this little sheepy right here, we can essentially tame any carnivore in the game right now, no problem. But if we were to sit here and I don't know, kill the hell out of this little sheepy, grab all of the raw mutton, please, come on. Oh my God, there's so much of it, I love that. Uh, grab all of the raw mutton like this, uh, do this, do mutton like this, transfer all over like that. Walk over to our newly made grill, put all the mutton into the grill or as much as we can in one go like this and this. Turn it on and cook it. You guys see where we're going? You guys see where we're going with this? We can tame up a thylacoleo now. That's right, for some reason, the only animal in all of Ark that would like to have a cooked meal is a thylacoleo. So that is what I think we are going to do today because uh, as you guys probably know by now, we have been working towards taming up a Desmondus Draculae, which um, is no easy feat. And we still have a couple more steps to go before we are actually able to do that. Uh, I.e., we have to be level 74, right? Let me just see. 74, Desmondus, Desmondus. Yep, 74 just to be able to make the saddle. Which means we have, uh, let's see, five more levels to go. So this is what I'm thinking we do today. We're going to cook up this mutton. Then we're going to go and head out and look for a decent level thylacolia, right? It doesn't have to be the best. It doesn't have to be insane, uh, but a decent level thylacolio. Oh, I just I just pooped my pants a little bit. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> um, and then once we do that, I think that we should declare war on all the alphas on this map, which seem to be an obscene amount of alphas, right? Like we have seen a ridiculous amount. And it's time that we exact our revenge. It's, it's just time. So I think that's what we're gonna try and do today. Um, it should be fun. It should be a good way to go about doing this. So that is the goal. Also, you guys have probably noticed we have some really cool armor on right now. So uh, if you remember back to the beginning of last episode, I talked about how I was thinking about putting in a new mod that would just strictly give us uh, a cooler looking armor. That's literally all it does. It doesn't add anything extra in terms of gameplay. It just makes our armor look a little bit cooler. And it's called the Viking wardrobe, which I put over here. And uh, it actually came with a bunch of different outfits. And I went ahead and looked at all of them. And uh, for the mo most part, they're all kind of bulky. Like some of them are really bulky. But I think this thing adds like a whole lot to it. And now we have actual Viking armor to go with our Viking haircut, which is slowly coming in great. We don't have the full braids yet or the mustache braids and stuff yet. But it's coming out pretty good. All right. So while all of our mutton is over there cooking up, we also need to figure out a taming pen situation because we do not have one of those actually ready. And I think I have a pretty decent idea on how to go about doing this. Um, I think it's going to turn out pretty good. So let me show you kind of what I'm thinking here. Over here to the side by the base of our mountain and our waterfalls, we have this amazing ruined structure that is not being used at all by us right now. And I think with a little help, we can probably turn this into a pretty good functioning taming pen. There's not too many holes that we have to plug up and it's kind of already like a built-in box. So I think we're gonna go ahead and try and use this thing and just see if it, you know, if it's reasonable or not. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking here. It's nothing special. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, let's see if we can place all these supports. Uh, excuse me, there we go. Go ahead and get all these supports down. See if uh, this is doable. I think it'll be okay. Hopefully I have enough here. <laughs> there are actually quite a few more holes on this thing than I had initially thought, which is not exciting. So hopefully we can get away with a really quick patch job of this area. There's another one here that we're going to have to somewhat take care of. Um, how many more do we got? Seven? Okay. That shouldn't be too 
too bad. What do we just angle this one? What do you think? We just angle this one like, uh, like, no, wrong. Like so? Pretty good. Okay. I think there might be one or two holes in the back of this place. There's at least one right here. Okay, so let's see. We do this and like that. Pretty good. I'm a little worried about how low the wall is over here, but okay, maybe mm, let's see if we can actually fix this a little bit. That and then th those two should be decent. Let's see. And then we have this one right here, which might be uh, somewhat of an issue. Okay. All right. That's somewhat decent, right? Let's go ahead and do that. And then, oh, God, where did I place that? Wrong. Incorrect. Not good. This is usually why I do building off camera because I'm absolutely terrible at it and it takes me for absolutely ever. Ah, uh, come on. And then like this and like that. Hey, okay, perfect. Now, let's see if I have all the uh, necessary accoutrements to make this thing. Not really sure. We might need to go back and make a few more walls, which is not great. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and do... I'm really just trying to do a really quick patch job on this stuff, you guys. Honestly, that is the main goal here. Uh, just to make sure, like, anything can't get out that we do not want to get out. That is the whole main goal. Honestly, I don't even think a Thyla can probably get out of this. But, um, you know, better safe than sorry. So, what do we got? We got ten more walls. Eh, we might have to go back and make a couple more. Honestly, we might. Let's see. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Okay, that's not bad. We got, what, two more left? We might be okay. We honestly could be okay. Should we just try this? Let me just pick this foundation up. I feel like that's decent, right? If it gets out of this, maybe it's just a wizard. I don't know, but I feel like we're going to try this thing. So let's go back. Let's see if all of our mutton is good to go. I think it should just about be cooked. If, uh, if you know, not be really close. Let's see. How much do we got here? Is it all good to go? Oh, it is awesome. So I'm actually, let's go ahead and put this so that it doesn't spoil. We can save as much of it as possible directly in our new refrigerators. And uh, yeah, let's now go on the hunt for um, a little hot thylacolio action. So I'm not sure what we can find. I know that normal thylacolios and our thylacolio spawn all over this place. There's a perlovi over there, which does not excite me. Um, but I have seen them all over this forest and in about the area. So I'm feeling fairly confident that we should be able to find a fairly decent one. Um, something in the triple digits, I feel like. Anything in the triple digits, I'm, I, I think I would happily accept. So I'm going to go ahead and start looking around here for some. And uh, I will bring you guys back uh, when and if we find a suitable specimen. So wish me luck. BRBs. <gasps> all right. Okay. A female Arthylacolio level 135, that's actually perfect. And by far and away, the highest level one I've seen so far. Uh, I've seen a lot of 50s and 60s. And honestly, let's see. How long did it take me about? Uh, okay, about 50 minutes. About 50 minutes of searching isn't too bad. It is actually the next day in game. We've been searching all night. And of course, I find one literally like 50 yards from our base. Of course, of course like as soon as I circle back, we can find one. Ah, uh, but that's perfect. So let's go ahead. Let's take it back to our taming pen. Let's see how good this goes. Also, it's kind of pretty looking. Look at that. Is it purple? It might be purple. Uh, the art thylacolios look so much cooler than normal thylacolios. So I'm kind of glad we found one here. Not the best level by any means, but definitely should suit our purposes for today. All right. Oh, my God. There's a galley mimus in there. That poor galley. We just like, <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. Uh, did I leave all my arrows and stuff on you? I did. Okay. All right, Plume. Here we go. So, let's see if we can actually make this work now. Please don't hit me through the wall. Yeah, shoot. Go. Oh, go after that Galley Mimus. Oh, my God. Look at it. It's gorgeous. You are so cool looking. Okay. Go ahead and try and get as many darts into it as we can. It looks like the Taming Pen is holding strong. Ow. Uh, I was gonna... No, Plume. Plume, don't get involved. Okay, Plume, you need to get out of there. Plume. Plume, please. Please, Plume. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. How do we get in there to save it? Plume. Plume. Oh, my God. Um, We're going to get... We're going to get in there like this. We're stuck. We're stuck. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're out of there. Holy cow. Plume, why you gotta do this to me and give me a heart attack, man? Holy cow. 
Not okay with that at all. <laughs> Do we have the window? Okay, let's put that back too before before it gets out and causes more damage to things. Jesus. <laughs> Everything has to be more stressful than than need be, right? Every time. All right, well, I'm going to sit here and uh, unless there are any more crazy surprises, get this puppy knocked out and uh, stuff some cooked lamb chops on it and then get it uh, get it tamed up. So, BRBs one more time. All right, okay. The thylacolio is done and good to go, which is awesome. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and grab all the stuff off of them. Let's get them out of the taming pen over to the base where we can actually make a saddle for them. And then we can take him out for a spin here and see how good he is. Uh, also, I'm sorry if this episode is a little choppy, you guys. Like, if there's a lot of, like, cuts in between. My voice is giving out. It's giving out. I don't... I think probably because of all the videos we've done this week. And uh, I'm fighting it as best I can. But I might need a break at some point. So, forgive me if it's a little bit choppy here and there. I am actively fighting my own voice to keep going. So, yeah. Just, just be patient with me today. I'm struggling a little bit. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, but with all that good go, can I have my mouse back? Where'd it go? Hello, mouse? There it is. Good. <laughs> Let's go over here, I think. I don't know if you can make a thylacolio saddle in... Oh, God, we're out of water. Well, when you're out of water, you just jump right off the edge and fill up your water jar like so. Boom. All right, I think... I I, I think the thylacolio saddle is made in a smithy, maybe? Let's see. Let's find out. Um, Thyla? It is. Okay. Actually, I think we could just make it straight up. Okay. Look at that. All right. Not that bad at all. Perfect. Which means we can take it out right away and see what we can do. Um, also, while we do that, let's go ahead and grab the Andrew Sarkis. Just so that we have a panic button in case things go badly for us here. Which, honestly, we're fighting Alpha, so there's a very strong possibility that they might get it down here as well. All right. Take a look at our brand new Thylacolio guy. Look how good it looks. It's even got like a dark purpley brown in it, which is awesome. And uh, if you haven't been here on the channel for very long, the naming convention we have for Thylacolios follows the Warrior series. And uh, I think we're going to name this guy Darkstripe just because, I know it's a female, but just because it has this really amazing dark, like purple ish gray stripe down its back. It looks really, really good. And then the snow white face, oh my God, it's so pretty. Uh, let's see, actually, let's go ahead and pick it up. Let's see what kind of levels we got on it. Where did they all go? Uh, so 34 in health is not bad at all. I'll totally take that. 35 in stamina, also pretty good. 32 in weight, pretty good. All of those are reasonable, except for the 21 melee, which is really bad. Like, that is terrible. Uh, but still, whatever, we're still going to use it. So let's go ahead and um, throw her back out here. And uh, let's go for a ride a little bit. So... This map seems to spawn way more alphas than any other map. And what I mean by that is usually on like any other map, you're like really lucky to have one, maybe two alpha T-Rexes that spawn on the map at any given time, right? That seems to be pretty good. On this map right now that we were playing, I know of at least three alpha T-Rexes that have spawned on our map. So yeah, a little bit, um, I probably should have jumped off there. A little bit crazy. Also, you guys have been telling me in comments, I've been seeing on Twitter, Reddit, all kinds of people have been having major problems with alphas spawning in their base locations, which is crazy to me. Like, can you imagine just living your best life and an alpha T-Rex just materializes out of the sky and falls on you? How terrifying must that be? <coughs> uh, but I have, a, uh, I have a theory about this, and I think with this map, oh, oh my God, what is happening? Why is our Thyla glitched out? <laughs> it's like Superman posed. Oh my God, I love it. Uh, anyway, so I think I have a little bit of a theory about this. And I think for this map, when you kill an alpha, you get runes, which I think you need to fight the bosses. And I think because you need the runes to fight the bosses, this map might spawn alphas a little bit more than on like your everyday map, like, like the uh, story driven one. So I think maybe that might be an explanation for why there seems to be just so many alphas all over the place. Uh, uh, speaking of which, that alpha raptor from like five episodes ago is still down here. Um, what level is it? Let's see. Let's see. What level? My guy. 20? Okay. This is like the perfect little like meal ticket here to see exactly how much damage we do. Which isn't going to be a lot because we got a very low damage stat. 
Can we just jump in and see how it goes? Woo! Excuse me. Sorry about that. Voice is giving out, man. I'm trying you. I'm telling you, I am fighting the voice pretty hard this episode, but we're going to do it, man. We're going to get in there. Let's see how much we do. How are we doing? 103 damage with bleed. That's not crazy. That's really not good damage at all, but I think it should be more than enough for what we're trying to do today because uh, I don't literally plan on fighting any Alpha Rexes at all. Maybe some Alpha Carnos. Can I please kill this guy, please? Let's see. At level 20, it really shouldn't take us that long to kill. Is it getting bloody? It is. It is. Okay. And plus the thyla has that bleed damage in there, that little extra damage. So this should be good. Some really good extra levels for us here. Maybe. Please? There it is. All right. We didn't seem to get any extra tools out of that, which is not good. Hopefully by the... Oh, see, look, and there are the runes. That's what I'm talking about. So uh, let's see. Why was this stone thus enchanted? Perhaps on obelisk you can yield. Yeah, so you need these runes to fight bosses, and I really think that is the only reason that they're they're like here. So, um, I don't know. I don't know why this map seems to spit out alphas all over the place, but that is my very best guess. All right, I stumbled upon another alpha raptor. What level is this guy here? He's also got ow. It's ow. Okay, it's level 100. This is gonna be. This one's gonna be a little terrifying here. <laughs> oh crap! We need to kill off its little buddies as fast as we can because we cannot have a mate boost with this fight. If things go wrong, I'm I'm going straight up that cliff over there like an actual cat. We're just climbing our way out of here. Also, we can't back up too much because there's an Alpha T-Rex right there. The same Alpha T-Rex is still over there and I have, there's no way in hell we can take that guy on. So we just kind of need to stand our ground a little bit and hopefully, hopefully we can stand and bang with this guy for a little bit. There are so many Fjord Hawks here. Look at this. How much levels does a Fjord Hawk get if we let it eat an Alpha, an Alpha Raptor body? What do you think? Can we tame one instantly like that? Oh my God, should we try it? Okay, I'm actually gonna try it. As soon as we kill it, hopefully it doesn't die to bleed. We'll let, no, oh. Damn, I messed it up. That's some of the uh, the dangers of killing things with the Thylacolio is, uh. It might die to bleed. <laughs> In that case, nobody gets the levels. Also, what kind of uh, what kind of loot did we get out of that? We got some boots. We got some runes, of course. We got a hatchet, which is great. Um, yeah, hell yeah, that is obviously going to be better than what we have. I'll take all of that. I'll take all of this. I'll, honestly, every single thing thing that was in there, we'll take. All right, how many levels did we get out of it? Oh, good, good. One lovely level after killing that guy because it died to bleed instead of uh, instead to us. That's so lame. They need to fix that, man. That's so lame. We did all the fighting. And we didn't get any of the, like, levels for it. Yup. Look at this. Look at this, guys. There's a, already a second Alpha T-Rex. There was the one behind us. This was level 95. And these guys are literally, like, essentially, they're on the other side of the bluff from each other. It's ridiculous. This map in Alphas is kind of, kind of insane, dude, honestly. But I'm going to keep looking. There's no way in hell I'm fighting that on the back of Thylacolio. There's just no chance. So we need to find some Carnos or Alpha Raptors. And uh, hopefully we can get the kills without them dying to the bleed damage so we get robbed. Because that's that sucks. All right. It didn't take very long at all. But I officially have found a level 25 Alpha Carno. Also, what is happening over here? Why is this Gallimimus dying to a Microraptor? What is that about? There's also a beaver dam right there that we should probably consider grabbing. There's another dam right there. Jesus. All right. Well, we're here for... No! The Microraptor struck back and there's an Alpha Cardo right there. Please. Okay. We got three seconds. Just keep chewing on whatever you're chewing on over there. Oh, my God. <laughs> I should have known that was going to happen. All right. Level 25 Alpha Cardo versus our Thylacolio. Let's see how this goes. Oh, my God. I think I see another Alpha Card. There is! There's a second Alpha Cardo over there on the left. Oh, God. <laughs> it looks like we're destroying it, though. Please give us the kill with no bleed damage. Please. Please. Also, we need to be on the lookout for runes. Because if we get runes, that's bonus experience that our Dinocolio could honestly use. If we got really terrible damage roll. Come on. Come on. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. We're definitely going to destroy it. We're not doing too bad here. We need to do more damage than the bleed. Please. Yes. All right. Nice. That should be honestly really good. Also, we got chitin leggings, which uh, I know, like, whatever. 
Uh, let's go ahead and put these here. What else? Was there anything else in here that we could have gotten? No. Um, let's go ahead and drop most of our meat. Uh, except for this stuff. We want to keep this stuff so we can heal and all the rest of the meat we can drop. That way we can free up some space in our inventory. We can bring all this stuff back in here. Look at all the hide we have already. Insane. We got nine levels out of that. Honestly, kind of crazy. It's honest. I'm just putting it all in the melee. Let's get them up to like 350 melee. And then maybe we'll add a little bit more health and this thing will be kind of, kind of an insane, uh, insane little kitty cat. So... I'm going to heal up. That other Alpha Carno, I think, is just over the ridge. Let's see what kind of damage we can do to that thing. Honestly, we might even not need to heal. What level is it? Uh, oh, we actually have a level ourselves, too, which is awesome. Four more to go. Uh, I think... I think... Okay, we'll do health. We'll get our health up to 250, a nice round number. And then... Uh, what happened to that Rex, dude? It's like fizzling out. Okay. Uh, there it is. <coughs> All right, what level is this guy here? Level 55 alpha, which isn't, uh, it's not crazy. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. We also want to try and kill the Stego before because we could really use the electronics. So we're just going to dive right in here into the middle of this fight and just see what we can do. Nice, look at that. 50 electronics out of that. Awesome. We need to be way more on the lookout for tech dinos. They, they save us a lot of time for crafting things. Oh, my God. Okay, this guy does a little bit more damage. He hurts a little bit more than the last one did. It's fine. So everything's fine. We all... I don't see any runes nearby. There's probably one in that castle, right? I'm sure. We'll go up there and check after this. If we could kill it. Are we killing it? Oh, okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. All right. Do more damage. Come on. 142 is pretty good, but I don't know if that's good enough to escape the bleed. The bleed is pretty strong. Come on. Die. Die, homie, please! Not, no, that one died to bleed! Damn! Okay, what did we get? Something good? Yes, look at that! Master Crab Pickaxe! Okay, we are moving our way up. We are ascending so fast. All right, um, let's see if we can find another one. And again, I'm on the lookout for Rune. So if you see one, everybody just stop me and point it out. Also, there's, there's a little bit of a T-Rex, hot T-Rex action right there. Level 50. Okay. It's fine. Let's go up and check this. Um, oh, my God. Look at all the raptors. Let's go ahead and check this castle to see if there's any sort of uh, rune up here. Okay. So, there doesn't appear to be a rune, but there is, in fact, an alpha raptor just in here with a whole a big old pack of... What is going... There's a 150 aloe in this castle with a level 95 alpha raptor fighting a bunch of argent. Like, what is going on? What is this? What is this? There are alphas just like around every corner. Get us up here. Let's see if we can find. There's got to be a rune in here, right? Hopefully. Get the rune and then we'll. Tr oh, God. I don't want to fight three aloes and an alpha raptor. That's maybe not the wisest decision. Aha. Okay. I finally see a rune that we can get at the top of this cliff. Hopefully. Hopefully we can get over here with no problems. We'll get that and then. um. Maybe we wage war on that castle, like, El like is it Elder Scrolls game? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. I think it's going to be a very bloody battle if I just charge in there, but we might just try it. Look at this. The Argent, are they still caught? Okay, no, they're losing aggro. Perfect. All right. Well, that is hopefully going to help us with levels here. Let's get back to the castle. Um, oh my god. This is going to be such a mess. We might die here. Okay, how many levels did we get? One? No way, we only got one level out of that rune. Really? Okay, well, we already got it up to 35, uh, 350 damage, so right into health you go. <laughs> All right, onward and, and upward, I suppose. All right, I think this is a really terrible idea. That's a 150 aloe in there. And we know exactly how crazy aloes can be. We defeated the Broodmother with a set of them not too long ago. Plus, there's an Alpha Raptor in there. This is going to be so bad. Uh, I'm going to bring Rip and Wrath out at the very least. So, we could very well end up losing our Thylacoleo and our, both of our Andrew Sarkis. Um, but there's no way in hell I'm going in here and fighting them without help at all. Like, there's just, there's no way. 
All right, let's go. Let's see if we can take care of the outlaws first. Get rid of the low level one first. There we go, perfect, nice. Now this one, get rid of them before the alpha realizes what's going on. Quick, quick, <laughs> oh no. Rip and rap, you're kind of getting, you're not helpful at all right now. Okay, there they go, there they go. They're just taking punishment for us. They're taking so much damage. One of them, Raph cannot take a lot of damage. He's a very low level Andrew Sarkis. We're doing good though, we're doing good. We're doing good, keep taking hits. The Alpha Raptor's not interested in us yet, which is great news. Okay, it's good, it's good. I'll try and help Raph out a little bit. Okay, that died, perfect, okay. I don't know why the Alpha's not attacking us, but I'll totally accept that as, as a victory for now. Okay, and uh, you guys can just sit sit here and hang out. You guys did your job. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought it might have been. Let's go ahead and take on the Alpha Raptor. We're doing 140 damage per bite now, which is pretty good. I'm still really worried that we're not going to be able to outperform the bleed damage, which is not great. So we might have to invest a little bit more in the melee. Let's see if we get something good out of this. Hopefully. We already got a Mastercraft pick. Oh, can we get a crossbow? A crossbow would be really good. All right. What was this level? Like level 95, I think. So we should get some really good XP out of this with the rune if we can kill it. Is it getting bloody yet? I'm starting to get a little worried. I'm starting to get a little worried here. Okay, no, it's getting bloody. We're doing good. We're doing good. Come on. Dig deep, Thrax, right? Dig deep, buddy. Oh my God. It's like trying to flank me. Look, we're going right up a rock. I have the high ground now. Yes. All right. Did we actually get a crossbow out of that? Oh, my God. We spoke it into an existence. <laughs> all right, I'll take that. And we got a sickle. Look at that. Hell, yeah. I'm going to take all of this stuff. I don't even care. We're going to take the Allosaurus brain, all this stuff. We got 10 levels, too. Oh, nice. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to have happen originally. But we keep letting him die to bleed damage, which is not, not the most exciting of news. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we allocating these resources here? We have 10 levels. We have 6k health. Should we go up to 400 melee? I really feel like we might. Okay, we'll just do it. Let's see. Okay, we're like one or two levels short of being 400% on melee, which hopefully is enough to get us over the hump. How are you guys doing? We should probably check on these poor guys. You guys took a lot of damage. You actually, Rift doesn't look too bad. Raph looked really bad. How much health did you end up having? 1300 is not great, buddy. Not at all. <laughs> but you did your job. Thank you. Also, we got a level, which is perfect. We got two levels. Okay, so we only need two more. Health and health. We'll try and get out that 250. 250. All right. Try and uh, do a little bit of healing here and see if we can find another Alpha Raptor or something easy to kill. Because I'm I promise you I'm not fighting the Alpha Rexes. No way. No way. Wait, wait, wait. I think there's already an Alpha Glow. I swear to God, I think there's already an Alpha Glow over there. Yup. Oh my God. There's a level one. Are you kidding me? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. These hills are cursed with Alphas. That is actually insane. Look how far away we are. I just punched the mic. I'm sorry. Look how far. There's the castle where we just got done fighting. There's a 130 Alpha Raptor just over there hanging out. Just ready to go. Um... We are not ready to go. How much meat do I have on me? A little bit? Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of healing, and then uh, then we'll fight that sucker. So, one second, you guys. Okay, so we're not going to be able to heal up a whole heck of a lot here. We're not even at 4,000 health, which is a little bit spooky. I'm not going to lie. Um, and it doesn't appear that feeding at Prime is helping at all. So, we're just going to have to go in there with what we got, and hopefully this just works out. And uh, if not, I mean, this is a really... This is a really strong Alpha Raptor, 130, and it's got friends, which is not, not ideal. Um, I think we just gotta try it though. I, I really do. I think we just gotta, I think we just gotta go in there and try this sucker. We got 120 something seconds left of a rune, so we gotta try to take advantage of that best we can. We're doing 165 damage per now. That's pretty good. That's a lot better than it was. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kill all the minions. They're doing a lot of damage. There we go. There we go. Okay, it doesn't have any more raptors with it, so it shouldn't be mate boosted. We got rid of the saber tooth. Now it's just a head on head fight. Let's see, let's see if we can push it to the limit here. 43 damage is what it's doing to us. Which isn't crazy, but consider if we only had like almost 4,000 health, that's actually a lot. So this is gonna be 
a little bit more closer than was close for comfort than uh, I, I was initially wanting. Come on, come on, dig deep. We got this. Oh my God, it's getting close. Come on, Dark Stripe, pull through, buddy. No, damn, the bleed damage strikes again. <laughs> uh, that's really lame. That would have been so many levels. How many? Uh, what do we get out? We got a pistol, I guess. Kind of cool. Uh, some boots, a bow, and nine more runes. Do the runes have a spoil timer? They don't. That's pretty cool. So at least we can stock up on those. Oh my god, that sucks so bad. All right, well, definitely need to heal now. <laughs> oh my god, we were under a thousand. Jesus. Uh, oh, no way. You guys. You guys. There's no chance. Did that just spawn? Did that literally just spawn? Oh my god. I feel for you guys. Anybody who has built over here in this, these like meadow hills area. Oh my god. You guys must just be having the worst time fighting up alphas all the time. Oh my god. We couldn't even go five feet. There's another one after five feet. Okay. All right. Let me heal up and then we'll go right back at it i guess all right so again we're not gonna be able to heal up as much as i would like to in fact i don't even think we're gonna hit 3000 we're not oh my god we are just south of 3000 which is terrible news um but the fact that there are this many alphas here is outrageous. they have to be spawning that has to be what's happening is they're just spawning and uh that's outrageous they need they need to fix their alpha spawn rates like seriously we have fought an alpha all the way up here through the castle this side and now we're about to go and do battle with another one which is just it's it's i i'm just i'm at a loss of words dude that's way too many alphas so i don't know it oh god i got impaled why i just got to the battle like what the hell all right now we fight it now we fight it hopefully hopefully we do okay we're a little bit low here we're a little bit low uh, but I guess until they start, you know, they go through and fix the freaking alpha spawns. I, I don't care. I'm going to abuse it. I'm going to keep fighting them, I guess. It's all I can do. They're going to keep spawning. We might as well. <laughs> oh, my God. This is going to be actually a lot closer. This is going to be a lot closer. We're doing 165. Come on. Come on. At least let us kill this one. Please don't bleed damage. We don't have a rune on anymore either, which sucks. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do damage. Come on, quick. Oh, my God. Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Did we get anything cool out of that at least? Doesn't look like it. Just more runes and another trank. Did we? Did it drop another anything? It did. Okay. Let me just actually. We'll check this real quick. Did it drop anything cool in here? Oh, good. A journeyman bow. Fantastic. What I always wanted. How are we heavy? How are we actually heavy right now? Drop that. We don't want that. What else is... Honest, that is heavy. Is it the runes? No. Probably all the arrows. Oh, it's the oil. Oh, God. I still have the oil on me. Also, the picks. We can go ahead and drop that one. <sighs> okay. How are you doing, Dark Stripe? How are you doing good, buddy? No, no. You're not really doing so hot. Um. <laughs> <coughs> all right. We are still in need of two levels. So, ah, uh, Jesus. Okay. I'm going to try and heal up Dark Stripe and then. Hopefully we can go more than 10. If there's another alpha up on this hill, I rage quit. I, I swear to God, the video ends right now. Okay. We're good. We're good. I'm going to heal up Dark Stripe and then uh, I'll bring you guys back. And I guess we'll keep our onslaught of alphas going. All right. It didn't take me very long. I indeed found another alpha. At least this one was like a couple hundred yards away. Like it wasn't like on top of the other ones, like the other like three or four were. So. I guess that's good. That's progress, right? That's character development. It's level 45 Alpha Raptor, which really we should just be able to tear right through. So I guess we'll just run right in here and do it. Let's do the darn thing. Okay. Stay go down. This should be a piece of cake, Dark Stripe. You have a ton of health now. It's low level. We're doing 168 damage per bite. Kind of outrageous, honestly. A little bit outrageous. I wish we could see how much the bleed is doing. Because the bleed has to be doing like an insane amount of work, right? Like so much. Also, I have not found another rune in quite some time, which sucks because we could definitely use it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Beat the bleed. Beat the bleed. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Did we get anything out of that? Uh, it doesn't look like we did. Um, okay. We got three more runes. We got 
I guess one level on Dark Stripe, which is uh, kind of kind of poopy. We got one level ourselves. Oh god, we're so heavy. We're so heavy from all our alpha loot. What are we getting here? That's okay. That's not right. This one, uh, another crossbow. This one does 182 damage. This one does 180. So I guess technically that one is better. Nice. All right. Well, um, let's see. We got one or two levels. One. Okay. All right. Not bad. One more level, and then we can officially make the Desmondus uh, Bat Saddle. So we're doing good. We're still on pace. I would like to find another rune. And uh, maybe we can squeeze a couple more alpha battles in here, hopefully. Um, at the rate we're finding them, like, it's... I, I, whew, I think we'll probably be able to fit a handful of them in here for sure. So, yeah. Alright, you guys. So, I found another alpha raptor in front of us, which is great news. I was actually getting worried that, like, we had killed off the entire population of alphas. And I was starting to head back to base, but uh, we found one here, which is great news. I actually, I don't even know what level it is. I was about to just charge headlong into battle and not even know. Uh, what level are you, guy? 15! Oh my god, we are going to absolutely slaughter this. Come over here. Come die. No, stop chasing the Alpha Raptor, or the, the Tyranodon. Jesus. I got Alphas on the brain at this point. We are really close, you guys. So, if this Alpha Raptor doesn't get us there, I think that I know of... At least two rune locations near the um, Redwoods Castle. So if this doesn't get us there, we'll go hit those. And hopefully between those two, that'll get us to level 74. Hopefully. My voice is dying, so I don't know how much longer I can sit out here and just absolutely slay Alpha Raptors. Did we get anything out of that? We got another crossbow. 176 damage on it, though, which is not very good. I'll keep both of them. I'll we'll probably end up grinding them down at some point. Also, we have... That's our seventh Alpha Talon. Outrageous. Uh, how many runes did we get out of that? One? Huge. Huge one. Give me those arrows, too. All right. So, Dark Stripe got one level, which isn't great. We got none. We are so close. Or actually, we only need one level. We need one level. I didn't even realize. All right, you guys. So, we were back under the cover of darkness, and I finally am able to stumble upon another Alpha. This time, it is a Carno. It is surrounded by Dionacus, though, which is, or Dionacus? Dionacus, Jesus. Um, it's level 60, so this is going to be a little bit of a fight, I think. I'm a little bit worried about it, but it should. Like, we are so close to being level 74. We are, like, right there on the cusp. So, hopefully this is the last alpha fight we need. I'm just going to run right in. I'm going to try and avoid all the Dionacus that I'm sure are just going to chase me over here and become an enormous problem in this fight. But here we go. Game on. Oh, yeah, here they come. Here come the Dinonicus. Jesus. No bleeding. Oh, we're definitely already bleeding. We're bleeding a lot. Oh, it's bad. I honestly couldn't... I could really do without the bleeding damage right now. Jesus. Oh, God, it's bad. It's really bad. Okay. Okay, just dig deep. I can't even tell if we're doing good. I can't even tell if we're doing good. It's so dark, and there's glowing happening. There's numbers and bleeding. Oh, my God. Okay. I think it's a little bit bloody. I think it's a little bit bloody, and I don't see any Dinon... What is that Buomia doing? He's just watching. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> it's not safe for you, man. Holy cow. It's bloody. It's getting bloody. We just got to kill him before the bleed does. Please. Please. Come on. We're getting, we're getting like audio glitches now as we kill these things. We killed so many of them. Did we get it? We did. Okay, we got the kill for it. Nice. All right. How much health did we have left? It couldn't have been a lot. 1351. Oh my god. We got Mastercraft Kite and Leggings. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Are we being attacked? Oh, we were being attacked by ants, but they, I guess, gave up on that. Um, cool. So, Dark Stripe got one level. We got him up to that. We got a couple picks here. What does this one do? 150 weapon damage? That's terrible. What are you, what's going on here with these ants? Jesus. And then they, oh, we got two levels out of it. Nice. All right, well, that's going to put us at 75, thank God. Um, what are we going to use it for? I think weight. Let's try and go for 300 weight. That would be super nice. All right, and these... I'm just ignoring the ads. <coughs> All right, you guys. So, I think that's probably going to do it for this episode. I know it's been a little bit of a weird one. A little bit of a weird one, but I think we got a lot done, thank God. My voice is killing me so... Oh, God, no. No. No Microraptor, please. My voice is killing me so bad. So, I think that's probably going to do it. I know it was kind of a weird one. Microraptor, please don't do this to me. Please, no more. No more. I just want to go. 
please? Okay, I think we're out. We're out running it. I think. Jesus. All right. Uh, yeah. I. <laughs> my voice is dying, guys. I, I've got to get the hell out of here. This has got to be done. I know it was a weird one. Um, but we got what we wanted to get done done. We actually got a pretty good thylacolio. Honestly, it looks brilliant. It's awesome. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Let me just try and collect some of this stuff so that we can actually keep it on hand. Um, did we get the runes? There we go. We ended up with 53 runes. We got a whole bunch of levels. I think it was pretty good. A pretty successful day. So, uh, regardless of it being a little bit of a weird one, please leave a like down below. It was a lot of fun to do this. Uh, also, please comment down below. What is your experience with the alphas on this map? I feel like it's outrageous. It's a little bit, we go this way. It's a little bit outrageous. So, uh, please like the video as well. I'm all over the place, you guys. I am so exhausted. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.